What's up everybody? Welcome to today's vlog. I think that is mostly what I'm going to be doing on the road. I definitely should film some sit down videos while we're like camping and you know there's not a lot else to do so those will be coming soon but for now I'm doing a lot of vlogs because I'm just trying to get content out whilst traveling and just life being a little crazy so I wanted to give you a little realistic look of our days and exciting news we were back on the vlog camera that has been something that's been hard is like what's it called um coordinating where packages are going and then like collaboration stuff has just been hard because things are not getting shipped out on time i'm currently at johnny and natalie's back in orange county we were just in san diego for a couple nights and that was really fun we got to explore the encinitas area and san diego a little bit and it was so beautiful i definitely prefer san diego over la like traffic was just not bad it's definitely a little bit more laid back and the beach towns are so cute i feel like i would love to live there what okay moving forward <laughs> i wanted to show you kind of like what it's like to work on the road so as you guys know from my last vlog, I went to the fashion district. Let me put you guys down. Last week and bought a ton of new inventory. So this was unplanned, but kind of worked out. I was like, you know what? I want to launch some new items and we're going to be in California for a little bit. So how about I like do a really fast turnaround of buying the inventory, photographing it, getting it on the website, launching it and sending out orders within a couple days. Uh, probably not my best idea, but we're trying to make it work. So right now I'm just surrounded by all this inventory. Thankfully, we have a place here to kind of work out of as our office, but we need to leave today. So I just launched a ton of new items on Hallelujah Sunday, and I'm trying to sell as much as possible because we just don't have enough room in the car to take it all with us. So hopefully... It goes well and a lot of the stuff sells so we don't have to take it in the car with us um but yeah that's what i've been currently doing i did get a couple packages i wanted to show you in the mail as well so the first package that came in was this swimsuit from skatey it's the amber filler up i just thought the pattern was so cute and it came with a free hair scarf let me take it out so you guys can see it it's this really pretty one piece with this one shoulder i got a swimsuit from theirs in like the blue floral pattern and i just thought it was so cute and the quality is just amazing it's so high quality and so soft so the next package is actually for handsome and it's from sniff and bark and they're actually sponsoring today's video are you excited buddy i'm so excited for him to try on this stuff they have really cute things oh my gosh the avocado Oh my gosh, so cute. Are you kidding? You're gonna look so handsome. I'm so excited to do some bandanas on him. Oh my gosh, look how cute this one is. The dinosaurs. So stinking cute. And then this is very classy for the holidays with the harness, the poop bag, the leash. And that's something really cool is like they have a ton of matching options. Another cool thing is you can get a free engraving on the collars. I'm so excited. We'll try some of this on later. Maybe when he wakes up. <laughs> Natalie just made me some brunch. She, her and Johnny have been like the best hosts ever. I feel like, I feel like we need to leave. <laughs> not because of anything they they're so welcoming but you know you just feel like you know someone's space you don't want to take it all up so we've been here it's kind of sporadic over the last week but we've been here for a while so i think we're gonna take off tonight and there's this really cool camping site um about five hours north of here so we might try to go there um it's close to like monterey i really want to explore monterey if you guys ever watch the show pretty little not pretty little liars big little eyes 
the town looks so beautiful so i'm excited to go there another thing that has been difficult on the road is uploading videos so when we were in san diego we had to go to two coffee shops over the two days we were there to work we, we don't need internet to edit them but we need internet to upload them and internet we went to Starbucks the other day and internet was just not strong enough to handle uploading a video. Thankfully, we were able to come to Johnny and Natalie's tonight or last night so I could get it uploaded. Kyle is currently trying to clean out the car. So we only went camping for two days, but we kind of realized, okay, we definitely overpacked. We need to downsize. I think some we'll be able to clear out more at my parents house because we can get rid of a lot of clothes and then i can just have them hold on to it until we move but we just have a lot of bins so let's go check on kyle and see how he's doing out there kyle's a vlogger now taking time lapses time lapse <laughs> nice i'm vlogging too on my channel with that very cool vlogger camera yeah all right, how's it going out here? It's going. We have way too much. I'm I'm sick of it. I was just saying in my vlog <laughs> how I literally am getting anxiety every time I open that trunk. Yeah. Because I don't know where anything is. We have a lot of crap. It's just not but functional. But we can't access it. Yeah. It's not practical. So I'm like, that's it. We're done. Time to eliminate, baby. All right. I'm going to eliminate the problem. How's it going so far? Are you, have you been able to eliminate anything? <laughs> yeah. This? this bag, this box, <laughs> uh, the CDs. Oh, uh, I'm proud of you for getting rid of those CDs. Yeah. Okay, it's been like an hour or two and we were able to clear out a ton of stuff from the car, which is really nice. Now I'm gonna go through all of the clothing bags and repack them i just need a better system for packing everything because i have to go through all three bins to get stuff and it just doesn't make sense hi babe you so it. yeah i was yeah. in the trader joe's bag also <laughs> lost the vlogging camera for a hot minute so now i'm gonna repack i'm gonna try to put things that i really think i'm gonna need over the next week like almost like packing a suitcase but packing a bag um over the next week or two because we're gonna be camping a lot so obviously i'm not gonna need like nice dresses and stuff so i want like everything i need in one bag like underwear bras sweatpants pajamas like all in one bag so that's what i'm gonna do now i also have like a huge pile of sweaters and i need to cut down so i might also like try to donate some stuff while i'm going through as well Target and we're just grabbing a few last minute things for the road like dish sponges and I don't know other stuff I'm getting groceries so maybe I'll do a little grocery haul after this look what they now sell at Target though chick-fil-a sauce definitely had to get one of those all right it has been quite some time since we last chatted, we got the car all packed up. We ended up getting rid of quite a bit of stuff and like reorganizing everything, but the car is still packed to the brim. Probably, so now. <laughs> Go ahead. probably because we got groceries. Yeah. yeah, so we spent all of the day packing, reorganizing, doing laundry, and repacking. And now we're driving about two hours north of Los Angeles. We're going up to the Santa Barbara area. Mm -hmm. I don't right think, above it. Yeah, neither of us have been. We're gonna try to find somewhere to just pull off for the night and camp. Uh, finding camping in California is a little bit more difficult. It is a first come, first serve at the place we're going and we're gonna get there kinda late, 9.30, so. We will see if we can find spot and then we're hoping to go to this really epic spot um tomorrow like up on a mountain but keyword hoping we're hoping 
Tell them why, baby. It's hard because our cargo carrier. Wait, hold on. You gotta see this, this view. Yeah. Let's see if the camera will get it. Oh. Kind of missed it. Well, our car wasn't designed to have like a trailer hitch. We added one on and installed it, and we piled it. So. You helped a lot. We don't have. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, we don't have the right clearance yeah. in order to have like a cargo carrier. Yeah, so all the hills we hit, the cargo carrier slams oh, on slides, the ground. grinds, smacks, yeah. pops, does all kinds of bad stuff. And basically, this campsite is what? Up a steep mountain? Yeah, it's up a mountain, so up a dirt road. Dirt road. Dirt road. But hopefully it's not like, it looked like a pretty flat dirt road, so hopefully it's not too bad and we'll we can out. camp there tomorrow night. But anyway, for now I just want to give you guys an update. Maybe we, once we get set up, I'll show you our setup tonight. Um, and then we'll see you in the morning. Woohoo! Alright, this is where we stayed last night. By all these trucks <laughs> on the side of the highway. Hey, it looked beautiful from the 10 out. Yeah, look at the view. So we're just breaking everything down now. We put everything, all the bedding in these bag, vacuum seal bags. And that's how you put away the tent. I've said it many times, I know I would change my ways, I know for sure When all the crows decide to meet They settle down So we just came to the sand dunes in Oshana, I think, or Oshano Oshiano? It's called Prismo Handsome. Sand Dunes Handsome! <laughs> You're just... Covering me in sand. <laughs> Buddy! <laughs> Enough! <sighs> Go! Seriously, you your <laughs> So we came out here to take some photos. Kyle's gonna play with the drone. I'm gonna try. It's his first I time don't know playing. I I need to set it up with Wi-Fi or something. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. I really have no idea what I'm doing. Yeah, this is his first time taking it out of the box. I put the sniffing bark stuff on Handsome. Look, I set up the leash, the avocado leash, and hey. he, Handsome, can you be a good boy? One second, let me see if I can get him to sit. Stinkers. Look how cute. Just got some drone footage. We found out that it's not a good idea to take off from the sand. So we're- Bad idea. Bad idea. So now we're doing the hand release and catch. And now we're gonna um, go not take really some photos i'm gonna grab some photos in the hayden set and then the lola dress that just released for holly sunday i think we want to head out more that way because it just like looks like you're lost in the sand dunes and it's super hilly so i think the shots would be really pretty over there so hike. yeah it's definitely gonna be a hike so maybe we can roll down the hills <laughs> let's Take go back.
we just got done playing around in the dunes and taking photos and drone footage. It was so much fun. Handsome is knocked out. I actually just changed his bandana again. I can't decide which one I want on him because they're all so cute. I wanted to mention a couple other things about Sniff and Bark and their products. All of their things, all of their things, all of their products are made from very high quality and durable materials and all of their collars are actually made from 100% cotton. So they're super comfortable for your pets. If you guys want to try out any of the Sniff and Bark products, you can use my code which is right here to save some money. And and I'll have all the information also linked in the description. So definitely check them out. Now we are going to head into, how do we say it? San, San Luis Obispo. <laughs> Don't look at me. I need to look up how to say it, but we're gonna go ahead into town. I asked you guys on Instagram where we should head along our route and a lot of you said this was a little hidden gem. So we're gonna go explore the little downtown area, maybe grab some coffee and lunch, and then we're gonna try to make it to our epic camp spot. So, let's hit the road. Always in your head. I just love holding hands with my husband. It's the best. <laughs> That's so bad. That last clip I just oh filmed, we were God. walking by a baby who was getting oh my wiped down, and then like the parents were looking at me, and I, I wasn't filming them, but then I was like, oh my gosh, they probably think I'm filming their naked oh baby. That's rough. That's so awkward. It definitely wasn't. <laughs> Do we go back and like tell them? No. Hey, listen, I was not filming here. I feel like that might be even worse. <laughs> Just to clarify, I was not filming the naked baby. You gotta hold up. Oh. I'm just vlogging. I'm getting funny for the vlog. Oh, like B-roll? B-roll, oh. baby. Oh, I'm filming. You're taking pictures. What? I'm taking a picture. I'm just filming us taking pictures. <sighs> I was like, what is going on? I'm so confused. Are you filming or are we taking a picture? We just walked by Wild House Paper, who I follow on Instagram. I had no idea this was like where the store was located, so that was really cool. Got to check out everything in person. Oh, now we're cool just gadget. walking. Yeah, we got to meet the owner. Hi, buddy. We just walked around downtown slow. Apparently that's what San Luis Obispo is called. I don't know how to say it. And we stopped at Urban Outfitters. I really want this bucket hat from there. But they were sold out in the white color. They had it in black, but. It's just not you. It's just not me. I don't wear a lot of black. But we did stop into Sephora. Wanted to show you what I got. First thing was, ooh, can't see it. Well, there goes my beauty career. My beauty YouTube career. <gasps> there it is. I got the super goop. I feel like I've seen so many people use their sunscreen and we really need a sunscreen. We're starting to burn. And the texture of this is like so nice. It's so lightweight. It's like a, it's clear as well. It's not like, I don't know. It just spreads on like, so smooth so like that and then i got sold on this um i don't even know what it is it's the super serum skin tint and it also has spf 40 so um if i don't want to use this or if i want a little bit of coverage she said this has light coverage and it literally like really like blurs your entire complexion and makes it look super even and then the other lady recommended it as well so i'm excited to use this because when i was in there i was looking in the mirror and i was like oh my gosh all my makeup is already all splotchy from being out in the sun and then the last thing i got was always oh, stealing your seat it was the Laneige lineage lip glowy balm they i've heard just so many good things about it so many good things my lips are so chapped so chapped <laughs> so I decided to try that one it's a little bit cheaper than their 
original and the original one comes in like those circular things where you have to dig your finger in and I personally don't like those as much so I'm excited to try it hopefully it'll help with the chap lips and now I think we're gonna just do a drive by by the Madonna Inn and then oh, we are. get on the road Kyle's ready to go people are gonna be so late for, not there's no late but like yeah maybe no time I know. it's just gonna be dark climbing it's a not steep gonna mountain be dark. a steep mountain we're gonna go stop there we'll be on the road towards the camping site stay tuned by 5 because this PM. might be the most interesting adventure to a campsite ever we'll be okay Attempting to go to the campsite, but we are hitting so much. <laughs> Honestly, if we didn't have this cargo carrier, We'd it would be, be fine. Cruising up this thing, but kind it's of. bumpy and it's Every just time yeah, you hit a bump, the cargo carrier hits. So I think that's just our biggest concern is that the cargo carrier is like it doesn't break off. That it's gonna break off with our cooler, all of our food. And if we don't have that, <laughs> I don't know what we're gonna do. We're truly gonna be campers. Yeah. <laughs> living off the. We're gonna have to like get the wild. I don't even know what we're gonna do. Oh. But I mean, if we can pull this off, this will be the probably the coolest campsite we'll have the whole trip. I would agree. I'm definitely feeling a lot of anxiety right now. Though. I know. I'm. So I'm getting really anxious. Let's pray. <laughs> Lord. Lord help us. Lord. Safe passage. I'm very surprised with how... Oh. Oh. oh we just hit so hard. Oh, bah. Oh, bah. It doesn't work. Okay. Praise the Lamb. And she's doing great. Yeah. But like... <laughs> I don't know. We got okay. a long way to go. You said this is seven miles like this? Yeah. Uh-oh. Uh oh. Oh, there it is. Oh, it hurts okay. so bad. We'll check it later. All right. Oh, I have a low battery. We made it to the campsite. It has been a journey, but look at this view. Insane. So, our last, our last little bit of this is coming down here. We have to go down, take the car down this little hill but that view is insane it's i think we've been driving up this hill for like an hour and a half are you kidding that's crazy so i think i'm gonna vlog kyle coming down the hill oh my gosh this is insane <laughs> I don't even want it to focus on me. Nice, bud. Phantom's just pooping next to me. Phantom, come. Stay. Handsome, stay. <laughs> Handsome's next to you. Handsome, it's okay. So confused. Is that my little puppy dog? Oh my word. Handsome is very proud. All right, we made it down. The car is here. We're gonna set up camp. Enjoy this beautiful no, view. Serious right now. This is insane. And I'm gonna finish off this vlog here and start a new one. And if you guys wanna watch our experience um, <laughs> camping here for the next couple days, then wait for the next video. I love you guys. Remember to check out Sniff and Bark's um, dog products and check the link in the description. 
And we have a very distracting dad in the background. <laughs> All right, guys, I love you, and remember, Jesus loves you more. Bye.